From basketball to golf, we now have Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. We played another Tiger Woods game on Demo Girl before. I don't remember offhand which one, uh, like which which episode it was or which Tiger Woods game it was. But I do remember liking it. Um, oh, we, can we go into create a golfer here? Uh, this is pretty cool if we can do this in the demo. We don't get to do a lot of create a character type stuff. Um, looks like we can do some randomize. Okay, we have to randomize and then we can customize. Okay. Well, this is cool. Um, yeah, this is definitely not something we could do before. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a lag when scrolling through these, which is a bit unfortunate because it basically means that um, it takes you a little bit to be able to see exactly um, what you what you've selected here. I like this. This is a good look. Um, yeah. Can we get an afro? Yeah. Okay. This guy's looking pretty cool. Let's get him. Let's get that bigger. All right. Now, I remember hearing a lot about the uh, the Tiger Woods character creation um, back when these games were still coming out. Uh, let's get a unibrow. So, yeah, the facial hair. What is this? How does this work? Uh, I don't. Wait, this is not facial hair. This is like the size. Okay. So I don't know um, exactly. Uh, what did I? Hold on, I must have pressed the button. I didn't mean to. So I went down to. Oh, okay, I can scroll through these. I just wanted to get something that matched the regular hair, but um, doesn't seem like it's actually changing anything here. Okay, I can't do eyelashes yet. Um, yeah, okay, but here we can get some beard going. That looks like it's probably promising. Let's see. Yeah, well, we'll just. This. We can't customize teeth yet. We'll just go with this. Um, I'm not. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, so, yeah, let's just play. Okay, <laughs> it was fun to look at that. Um, if I was just playing this demo by myself, I probably would spend a lot more time experimenting with that, trying to make a specific person, or, or doing something more interesting than just goofing off and, and putting together some random stuff. Um, but since this is demo real, I don't want to spend too much time doing that because I don't feel like it's interesting to watch me make a character. Um, I might be wrong about that, but I'm assuming that's not what anyone came here for. Um, but hopefully we are going to be playing as the guy we made, I, I think. That's that's what it looked like anyway. We played as Tiger Woods in the other demo. Um, because I, as far as I can recall, there wasn't a creative golfer option in the demo. Uh, if there was, it was grayed out, I'm pretty sure. So, here's a guy, I don't think we named him. Um, but that's okay. So let's see if we can... Yeah, so this one, like the the other Tiger Woods game we played, uses the analog stick to swing the golf club, which I like. Um, I like that a lot better than just using a meter, uh, which is what we've done uh, historically. Um, I'm not really trying super hard here, but we still got pretty close there. Just uh, swinging re relatively blindly. Um, so let's see if we can... See how do we adjust this here? Gotta about like that. Probably hit that too hard. Or not hard enough. Okay. Dang, we got pretty close to getting uh, the three there. I don't know what the par is on this on this hole. Um, but I don't think that's close enough for a gimme. So we'll just have to come on. There we go. Okay. For a second, I thought I didn't hit it hard enough. So, but yeah, we got pretty close to going under par on the first hole. That's always encouraging. <laughs> Like, I, I don't play a lot of golf, I'm not like a big golf fan or anything, but um, for some reason I do kind of have fun playing these golf games, uh, at least the ones that play well. And these Tiger Woods ones are probably the easiest to pick up and play of any of the golf games I've played. Um, so I'm trying to think, like on Demo Reel we've played lots of like Hot Shots Golf, um, I've played Outlaw Golf, not on Demo Reel, but just in my regular life. Um, and... Uh, I feel like I've played others, but I honestly can't um, remember offhand what any of them were called. Uh, but it seems like we've played a few different golf games besides just Hot Shots Golf and Tiger Woods here on, on Demoville, but 
I, I, I can't recall off the top of my head. Um, this one also has lots of shots of your character doing stuff, which I guess is good, because if you're going to have a creative character, you want to be able to see them doing the things that you created them to do. Um, like, we didn't put any thought into this guy, but... Oh, I guess we ran out of time. That was... Wow, that was really fast. Um, if the... Yeah, I guess the demo's over. That that kind of sucks. I was just starting to have some fun. Um, but okay, the game looks fun at least. Next up here we have Chaos Legion, a game I remember playing a little bit, but I don't think very much. It's entirely possible my memories associated with this game are entirely from this demo, but I feel like we, um, at the time, either rented or maybe even owned it for a while. I don't think I ever played too much of it then, but I remember, uh, like, my dad playing it, um... Tis the darkest glyph thou bearest at sacrifice of stray souls to summon unearthly force. That was a good line, me. Unearthly force shall obey and serve thee. Tis named Chaos Legion. The sinner shall be atoned, even though no punishment will be enough for your sin. Sila, why? Why were you taken from me? Why? The answer is within. I shall never forgive you for what you have done. It's still too soon for you to meet your end. First, you'll have to suffer through the underworld. Follow me, Zeke, for your atonement is waiting for you. Come see the hidden truth of this world. Once a pious man had fallen into the dark side, this tragedy began to unfold. Last night, Sir Clovis, a considerable member of our Order of St. Overia, was murdered. After stealing the forbidden Apocrypha of Ezark, the suspect managed to escape. His name is... Victor Delacroix. What led that virtuous man to commit such an outrage against order is unknown, but there is no time to waste. You must track him down. The Knight of the Dark Glyphs, Zeke Varheit. Parts of that almost felt like a parody. Um, I think it's like the, the guy behind the desk there that was doing most of the narration uh, with the, the slice of an accent seemed to have uh, problems reading the lines quickly enough to fit into the pacing of the videos, so a lot of his lines felt unnaturally rushed. It didn't feel like uh, they were paced the way somebody would talk, um, which just made the first, like a couple of the lines he was reading that was supposed to be pretty serious sound kind of funny. Um, but nonetheless, here we are in this game. It's loud. Um, just a lot of noise going on. Hopefully, I can get the sound balance right so you guys will be able to hear me uh, when in the actual video. But yeah, we just get dropped into this huge fight with all these monsters, um, these like, uh, fantasy Silent Hill type things. I don't, like, I, they look like there's supposed to be some kind of, uh, zombie or demon or something like that. I'm just pressing random buttons because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I think I did a special attack there, that was cool. Um, we almost threw them. Got up to 11 smash! Uh, okay, I need to take out this... This thing over here that's like uh, launching fireballs at me or something. Okay, we got it. And I think this guy might be the last one. Yeah. Feel feels a little um, Dynasty Warrior-ish. Uh, like the this game doesn't feel too much like that, at least not yet. Um, but the the way we're cutting through enemies and does feel a little bit like that. Um, it's like Dynasty Warriors or, or one of those type games where you have just a ton of enemies to wade through, but they don't really attack you. They uh, aren't too difficult to take down. It feels kind of like that right now. Um, and yeah, I I don't remember this part too much. Like some of the stuff in the cutscene we saw seemed pretty familiar. 
And I definitely recognize the character designs, both Seek and um, the the white-haired guy that um, that we saw too. I already forgot the name. They they said it super dramatically, so that we would remember it. Uh, something Delacroix. Uh, both those guys look familiar to me. Though in Delacroix's case, it might just be because he looks kind of like uh, somebody from Final Fantasy, like maybe from the Final Fantasy VII movie. Um, not. He doesn't necessarily look like Sephiroth, but he looks like he could be like the, the one of the Sephiroth-like people that was in that film. Um, but yeah, that I think actually this thing, game does kind of want to be like a, a Final Fantasy type uh, aesthetic a little bit. Like it, it's darker than I tend to think of Final Fantasy, or at least Final Fantasy at the time. Maybe these days it's a little bit closer to this uh, palette. Um, but, I don't know, that might just be the anime influence, I'm just making generalizations, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't have a lot to focus on here because I'm just basically mashing square and occasionally pressing triangle. Basically the same way I played through um, uh, Dynasty Warriors. We do seem to have like a spirit in us that came out there with that special attack. I don't know if you guys noticed it, there was some kind of uh, demon looking thing that came out of us and did a couple of attacks. Um, yeah, there. That thing looks looks kind of demonish. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I, I do kind of remember that. That part seems familiar too. Um, just little little things here and there seem familiar, but like again, uh, I don't think I ever actually played this game. I think I just um, watched like my dad play it or something like that at the time. I don't think I ever got into it. So um, that's. You know, to be expected that I wouldn't have quite as strong memories of this as I might something I actively played. But, um, yeah. I, I don't know, this seems fine though, like, I could see myself playing something like this. Um, it would mostly just depend on how interesting the story was, and, uh, honestly the story didn't really grab me, what we saw of it here. Um, just felt a little bit stock. Um, I don't know, there might be more to it than, than what we saw in that cutscene, that's just the start of it, but like, um, guy stole stuff and we have to get stuff back, and then there's some kind of, um, betrayal slash revengeance, uh, plot, where I guess we killed, like, um, somebody he cared about in the past, and he's vowed revenge on us, um, I don't know, all, none of it particularly stands out or grabs me, but maybe when we see more of it executed that they could make up for it. I'll, it didn't help too much that I wasn't crazy about the voice acting, like the English dub here that we got, um, kind of undercut some of the drama that they were going for and made it, again, feel a bit silly. Um, like I, I, I think I used the word parody <laughs> to describe uh, how I felt about it, but um, oh hey, a target! Okay, um, that seems like something I want, right? Uh, just attack this fat one. I don't know. It doesn't seem to... Like, it's taking more hits, but it doesn't seem to be any more dangerous than any of the others. At least so far. Uh, I don't know how many more hits it needs. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I got an attack up for killing the fat one. Um, it's cool, I guess. Is this also a target, this other one here? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I, see, I saw the target thing for a second there. Yeah, so every now... Like, if I hit triangle while I'm into a chain, it'll bring out this, uh, other guy that comes and does some attacks for me, which is pretty, pretty good attack. Um, okay, I guess that's the level. I just had to clear the room. I got, like, a time score there. So I guess we did it. Okay. We'll get, um, another, what, I guess those are, yeah, attack ups. Little stat boosts that we pick up. Um, now... We get a little bit more area to move around here, like I can come up here and attack uh, these longer range ones. Um, I guess I want to focus on that big guy back there, he looks pretty scary. Um, definitely looks more intimidating or dangerous than the other enemies we've fought. So far hasn't really done a whole lot, but he does did, he did look scarier. Um, and I can't see my health bar, I assume I have a health bar up there. Um, but it's covered up by my capture device's timestamp, so I can't, uh, can't actually see it, because just right now it just says, like, 8 minutes, 12 seconds, or however long I've been playing this. 
Um, so I don't know uh, if I get hurt, but I don't know how to heal anyway. Like if we have healing items, I don't know how to use them. Uh, let's try a couple of different attack uh, buttons to see if we can do some other things. Um, well, never mind. I got apparently I got killed. Uh, let's see where it. Oh, it starts us back way back here. Um, okay, well, I'll try and get back to about that point and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, we're back to about the same areas. So, it moves a lot faster once you just focus on the targets, which is something I didn't really uh, think to do or didn't know I needed to do at this, uh, when we first started. But if you, and I think the enemy, the other enemies just keep coming until you destroy the target. So, uh, if you have, like, if you're going for a high kill count or something like that, then you might not want to focus on the target right away. But if you're trying to get through it quickly, like I was now, trying to get back to this point, then, um, yeah, that's the best way to go. And I think, yeah, we got a lot better, um, uh, chance here. I, I still don't know, I still have zero idea how, like, um, hurt we are, um, but I, I feel like we've taken fewer hits than we did when we got here before, but I also don't know how, how like, strong this guy's attacks are. Like, I have no idea how much damage that did just now, um, when he just hit us like that, but, um, I got knocked down again, so I have, yeah, I have no idea. Hopefully we'll get um, some life recovery from him uh, when, uh, when we get him down to dead. But I don't know how close we are to that either, because I don't see health bars on the enemies. Um, so I'm assuming there aren't any. Got blasted again. Okay. I thought for a second he maybe had died. Um, so I didn't see him, but he just moved up here. Man, I really should try to get, um, get these things. They, uh, not, not helping my case here. And, whoa, 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 what hit me? I did not see, uh, maybe I got hit by one of these guys, but, um, yeah, at least knocking them down there where I can get them caught up in the fray with everything else, you know? Uh -huh. Phew, and hopefully we'll get hit with those a little bit less now they're down here. And oh, it looks like I killed that one anyway, that guy. So he, I was pretty close anyway. Uh, and now that opened up a new door. I didn't notice picking up a life recovery thing. Oh, there's the item he, he dropped. Okay. Let's see what it is. Um, soul recovery. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I got any health recovery. Unless it just heals you when you clear a room or something. But um, anyway, now we've got something else going on here. Um, if I just go ahead and get up this. Got another weird looking target here. This one's uh, kind of eldritch a little bit. Um, this looks like tubes and flesh. Um, geez, I got knocked down again. Okay. Um, seems like the enemies have gotten a lot more aggressive from the beginning when I was talking all that Dynasty Warriors stuff. Um, which is good. And I assume uh, the game gets a lot harder than that first room was, of course, and, like, we died, but part, that was probably because I don't know how to heal if I can heal, and I don't know, um, when I need to be healed, because, uh, again, my capture device hides that info from me. Oh, wait, I need to annihilate an enemy. This guy? I don't, surely not, but we already killed two of these. Um, it must be... Uh, I don't know, maybe I seem to kill all of them that are left, or maybe there's another target I haven't seen. Um, I didn't see anything with target over its head when I came down here. So, I don't know. Got a life recovery though, that's good. Um, so I needed that, I'm assuming. Uh, I'll just keep killing guys until I see something to attack, I guess. Got another life recovery, that's good. Um, yeah, I guess I just had to clear out the room. So we got everybody there. Uh, I picked up some other item, I don't know what it was. And we just keep moving through rooms. Uh, and I guess that's that's it. I don't know if that's what all of the gameplay in the game's like. It seems kind of simplistic. Uh, it's just kill a bunch of people and then move to the next room, but... You know, I guess if, if all this is just a hack and slash adventure, I, then, you know, that's fine. Those games can certainly be fun. It seems like this would get boring, though, because I'm already starting to get a little bit bored, and I'm just playing the demo. Um, I would hope that there'd be, there's maybe some more, uh, strategy to it. Because, like, in Dynasty Warriors, um, I, I hate to keep bringing that up, because it's not really the same. 
But in nice Boys, you have like a huge map you can move around, and you can utilize some strategy there beyond just hacking through everybody. You can also just hack through everyone until you get to the end and kill the last person, but um, th there's lots of different ways you can approach it. But this is way more linear because it locks you in a room, and then you can't leave that room until you kill a certain enemy, or a certain number of enemies, depending on what was going on with that last area. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it just seems like if this is how the whole game is structured, I would be tired of it. I'm gonna run past them now. Um, I don't see any reason to stay and fight them unless they make me. Um, but like, none of these guys have target on them, and it didn't say, like, destroy the enemy like the other one did. So I don't feel like... Oh, shoot, come on. Um, okay. So, the beginning of the map... Okay, it's right here, so that's not too far. I'm gonna try my run past them all plan again. Um, so I think if we're just supposed to kill a target that's at the end of this hallway, then I think it's a waste of our time and energy to try fighting them. Um, and, like, this, I don't know, seems to be working perfectly fine. Uh, well, up until here, but I still think I can, yeah, just hop over them. Alright, what's at the top here? Still no target. Uh, okay, and then we, yeah, okay, we didn't have to fight any of them. I didn't kill a single one. Okay, now we've got um, an annihilate the enemy situation, so we have to kill everybody. I'm gonna focus on this guy first since uh, he's the most dangerous looking one, except well, maybe this invisible thing. Hold on. Whoa, crap! Jeez. Um. Wow, I got completely bombarded there. Okay. Uh, so we got some invisible enemies here. Um, some some of them are pretty familiar. I don't I don't know what these ones on all fours are. We get killed again already. Okay. <laughs> I thought we did for a second. Now I was gonna be upset, but um, we well we've taken a bunch of attacks, so it wouldn't surprise me if we're about to. Um, you guys would know better than I would, since you can see the health bar. I just, uh, I don't know how to deal with these long range things other than, you know, attack them, but, um, I just can't, wow, I don't know what to do there. Okay, alright, I'll, I'm gonna go back to that room the same way I did the last time. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, this time I'm not gonna rush right into the middle of the fray right away. Um, like, okay, so, I guess I need to focus on this guy, because it doesn't seem like I can hurt the invisible ones. Even though they're the ones doing all the freaking damage to me. Like, look at... I can't even get up because they're bombarding me with fireballs. But, um... As far as I can tell, I cannot hurt them. Um... And I don't know... Uh... I don't know what this fire at the bottom means. Uh... Jeez. I just can't do anything. Uh, I feel powerless, because, um... As soon as I start to make any more, like... Gain any momentum on hacking down this huge health bar. Um, I get knocked down by a fireball. Um, but again, I can't, as far as I can tell, I can't hurt them. They don't seem to react at all to my sword attacks, so I think this guy is the only one I can hurt. But, um. Jeez, but they. They just don't let up at all. I. I'm gonna die again here real soon, I'm confident. Um. Yeah, wow. Uh, I don't know, there's gotta be something we can do. Can I just say that if we were actually fighting all those enemies leading up the way here, this would be like a thousand times more obnoxious. Um, like, it's pretty annoying anyway that we have to keep uh, running past them and then going into this battle that I still have no idea how to play. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Um, like again, I'm attacking this thing but it doesn't seem to make any real difference. It's not reacting in any way. So I can only assume I'm supposed to be targeting this guy, except I can't... Um, I can't seem to make any real momentum. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, it would be nice if I, like, if I could kill these other things, um, I would. Like, I would definitely want to get rid of these things. Um, but I don't, again, I don't seem to be able to really... I don't know, I guess... When I do this attack, this the bar goes down. Okay, 
Maybe I can kill him. Okay. I just felt like I wasn't doing damage, and there was like a little effect that made it look like maybe I... Maybe they had like a shield or something? Um... I don't know. I'm still, like... Haven't been able to kill this one. And I've been attacking it pretty relentlessly. Alright, I don't know. Did I kill it just there? I'm not sure. I have no idea. I'm just gonna keep hacking at stuff until, uh... Until the fight's over. Or I'm dead. Um... Here we go. <laughs> Trying to, I think maybe the um, my legion attack or whatever it is with this um, this guy that comes out of me, I think that can hurt them, and my regular attacks can't. I think is probably is what it is, um, which is why it seems like it takes them a lot longer. Dang it! I I was so close. Okay, well we've got a plan now. Okay, um, this is probably going to be our last try because I'm getting a little bit tired of it. But now we do have the plan of using these attacks to try and actually kill them, because it does seem to work. Um, I still don't know... Uh, like, there's still so much going on and so many, like, long-range attacks I can't seem to do anything to avoid. Um, I just don't... I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, even, like, knowing that I can apparently do uh, damage with this. Um, like, we are making way better progress with this uh, approach, but, like, I don't have any, um, real plan of, as to how to survive, um, long enough for this to be effective. Um, like, I, I think I'm about dead already, probably. So just look at all this fire, I can't do anything. Okay, um, I don't know. If I understood the, some of the, like, uh, subtleties of this gameplay better, like, because I don't think, I don't think it's as simple as I'm making it out to be, um, where, like, uh, I hack and slash and there's nothing more to it. I think there is more to the gameplay here, um, and I just don't know it. Um, I, like, I've tried experimenting a little bit, and I, I can't seem to find anything more productive than this approach, um, so this is what I'm going to keep doing, but, you know, uh, I think we actually might have it here. Okay. So we've got... I think we've got all the invisible ones down now. I don't see them. Um, we just have the, the Legion left. So I guess I just have to attack this guy until I get the bar down all the way. Um, which I think we can do. Okay. Well, I lost track of him here. Thankfully it was a map, but um... And I think I'm attacking him right now. <laughs> Uh, just relying on these guys to do a lot of the damage for me at this point, though. Um, because I don't know what else I can do. It does look like they're hurting him. Hold on, let me see what I can get. Okay, it's a camera circled around so I can actually see what I'm fighting here. Because they, they can see him and attack him, but I was just swinging wildly with my sword. Um, we've got him almost down, but I don't know why it's... Feels like the thing's moving a lot slower now than it was before. The, the health bar at the bottom? I don't know. But I think we've got it. Um, there, that should do it, right? Okay. We did it! Yay! Um, we beat all five uh, enemies in Van Pass, everyone on the staircase. Okay. And we got some kind of power for it. Okay, so our last try was our last try because it was a successful one. So we'll get an experience, Jim. Okay. So I guess we'll keep moving on. Just leave all those demons in the hallway, because who cares? Who cares if they're there? Uh, and is that it? Nope, we got a new area. Okay. This just keeps going, doesn't it? Uh, okay, this looks like a boss, though. Um, yeah. I like, I like this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how to fight it, but it's got a huge health bar, just like he did. Or like the that last room did, I should say. Uh, well, I'm assuming if we died here, we would start back over at, in this fight. Um, instead of having to, like, clear the previous area again. Oh, he's got two health bars, now that I look at him. Um, he's got the, like, a green one, and then there's a yellow one underneath it. And the other, the, that room, those monsters combined only had the yellow health bar. So we've got, um, a lot to hack through here. Uh, unless he's got some kind of weak point we can exploit. Um, Oh, wait, what is, what's all this? He's summoned a bunch of things. I don't like this look of this. Um, 
It might be the weak point I was talking about. Maybe we're supposed to use those somehow. Um, I don't know. Uh, this is the first time I've fought a boss in this game, uh, to my recollection. Uh, oh, I think I knocked him down to one knee, though, so that's good. Or two knees, maybe. Um, but anyway, the point is, he was down for a little bit, which is good. Uh, still no idea what I, how I'm doing health-wise, so I'm going to keep playing as recklessly as I have been. Um, hope, just hope for the best, I guess. I don't think we're going to do a whole bunch of tries here. I've been playing this for over 20 minutes at this point, and I'm kind of getting tired of it. Um, like, I don't... I don't think I dislike this game. I'm actually kind of having fun. Um, but I don't think this is a game I would ever play for hours at a time. Uh, and this 20 minutes is already wearing down on me pretty, pretty heavy. Um, and that's with us, like, breezing through large sections of it, like that hallway. Uh, let's see. Just trying to focus here. So we, we got him down to his second health bar, so we can just do as much damage as we've already done. We'll be fine. Um, as long as we don't get killed trying to do that. Um, I mean, we knocked him down again. I don't know what we do to instigate that. Um, but we're doing pretty okay here, I think. Unless unless we're like one hit away from death, which again, I have no idea. Um, but I think... I feel like we're doing well. Uh... Okay, I just need to s stay on him, I guess. Um, like, he hasn't done too many attacks on us here. It's mostly been the things he summoned that have hurt us. Um, like these guys that have done damage. I can't I can't get turned around properly. He was on he was down on his knees. I couldn't do anything because I got I couldn't turn around fast enough. Ah, oh, dang, that got me. Okay. Um, oh crap. Ah. Uh, we were so close. Okay, I'm gonna try again, but we're gonna skip ahead a bit so you guys don't have to see that whole fight. Okay, we've got him down pretty hurt again. And unlike before, he hasn't... This is the first time he summoned anything. I have... I guess maybe I was just more aggressive. Um, and so he didn't have a chance to summon anything until just now. I don't really know. Um, but I feel like we're doing pretty well. He's hit me a couple of times. Um, but again, I have no idea how, how much uh, actual damage I've taken. But we've got him down pretty freaking close to nothing here, so um, I feel like we're gonna get it unless, um, again, unless I've taken more damage than I realize or something, but um, just gotta hack down this last little bit. There we go! Okay! Um, it was actually a lot easier the second time. I think uh, I noticed it seems to do more damage when you attack the body than the legs. So I did a lot more jumping that time and I think it helped. Um, and that's the end. Okay, so I'm glad we tried it again. We actually made it through the whole demo, which is always satisfying. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Uh, I don't think I would put it on any best games list, but I had fun. Give me the agreed upon ego soon, or the deal is off. I've seen what comes of such foolish plans. <laughs> I want information. Where the hell am I? I think the Baron set me up. Actually, I think everybody's trying to kill me. Kira, uh, this is Ashlyn. She's just... Everyone knows who she is. And Kira's a... a friend. A very good friend. We're not doing anything until you tell us why Metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. I should have had you both kneecapped, eh? Good night. <laughs> Oh, 
phone and welcomes you, blah, 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 the usual boring salutations. She says it is good to see you again, Jack. But we've never met before. Before, after, it is all the same. <laughs> Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. The demolition duo has returned. Jack and Daxter. You're amazing. Yeah. I know. Scratch me there. Alright, well I'm in a different room. I don't know if any of these doors will open anymore. Okay, here we go. That's much better. Just this one guy. Okay, we're in a much better area here. Yeah, I know that door won't open. I can tell when a door won't open, and there's a big red locked in front of it. I don't know why you have to tell me that every single time I walk in front of a locked door.